Hey everybody, um, down here in the seed lab, and um, today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I wanted to talk about um, corms and uh, the benefit of buying certain plants when they're available as bare root plants. Uh, in this case, this is uh, Liatris uh, Coal Bold is the variety, and we grow this for well, for one for pollinators and for two for. Uh, cut flowers. We like the spikes on those for cut flowers. Um, so liatris can be grown from seed which uh, could take about two to three years to produce from seed to get a reasonable sized perennial plant uh, that's going to flower for you um, to where you can harvest those flowers. And that's a relatively cheap way to grow liatris, but it will take a couple of years. Another way is to buy um, gallon plants uh, at your local nursery. And then really the third way is to buy um, these as bare root. And um, liatris actually is a, is a specific type of um, underground stem tissue referred to as a corm and these corms are probably two to three years old and you can see I have a, um, a, a little bucket here of these corms that I've uh, quote unquote forced and, and the way I do that is just simply um, give them a little bit of moisture and a little bit of um, heat so to speak, room temperature in this case and uh, those, those should start to come out of dormancy pretty quickly. This is probably five days. And you can see I'm getting some pretty good um, uh, shoot development here, leaf development from this corm. And then on the, on the bottom, we can start to see a little bit of the roots developing. So I like to force them because occasionally you will get um, some rotten ones in there when you buy these. So you can see this has a little bit of a soft rot on it and a little bit of mold. So I do like to force them and then these ones are still a little bit dormant and I'll keep them separated and probably plant those at a later date and try to keep forcing those um, through. So, you know, the real benefit, I probably spent about $7 on this bag of Liatris. It came in uh, this small bag here, probably an ounce, or excuse me, a, um, uh, half gallon size uh, baggie here and um, you know so I have you know up to 20 probably up to 20 25 plants here for less than ten dollars so it's a very economical way and my hope is that if uh, these may flower this year and if not they'll certainly be blooming next year so I'm gonna put these into what's called a, uh, I use this little 12 count tray uh, the, the, this is a, you know, a reasonable size tray. I wanted something a little bit uh, bigger for these to go into. Um, the one thing I don't like about this tray is it has a flat bottom uh, container to it instead of a tapered container. And so I will get a little bit of root circling on this that I don't like and that may slow down the, the productivity a little bit. But um, nonetheless, it's what I had. And when I plant these, you know, this is stem tissue, so I want this, I definitely want it buried, but I, because I have these leaves coming out, I don't want them, you know, buried too deep, just enough to where, um, kind of where their, that stem is going to be completely covered, but not so deep that they're um, extremely buried. And uh, I may end up, I'll probably end up putting two of these per, because I want to get these out into the garden this spring as soon as I can, or probably later this summer or even fall. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting two of these in here. And again, just kind of at, um, kind of even, almost even with the soil level there, but these, these leaves will get covered by the time I get done with this process and you can kind of see me going through there and putting them in again you can see these ones that are forced they're pushing new leaves out of the top of that corn and uh, this is a great plant for pollinators you know again we use it for cut flowers and we have a new flower bed going in 
this summer or later this fall up by the road. We're going to remove some of our grass and um, so that's basically it on these corms. That's you know kind of the process I do. Like I said I have these left behind that didn't um, flush. I have one that rotted so I'll uh, definitely throw that one away. I don't want to contaminate anything else. I'll get this planted. I probably will cover this with a layer of vermiculite just to keep um, algae down as this begins to uh, get watered and uh, I'll put it on uh, keep these indoors it's currently still March it's uh, below freezing right now these could possibly tolerate freezing temperatures you know 28 um, not too much lower than that this time with them being forced this way but um, you know this is a hardy perennial so you know technically I might be able to get away with getting these outside maybe with a layer of mulch or uh, leaf litter this time of year but I will put these indoors 70 degrees and 14 hour photo period get them flushed up and uh, get them ready to be planted out later this year okay so that's um, the story on these corms you can see two types here one uh, flushed and one still dormant and I'll keep uh, forcing those along. Okay, thanks. If you have any questions, just put them uh, down below. Thank you very much.